Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today I wanted to do this look that I saw Kendall wearing. She looked amazing, um, very edgy, and I needed to do it ASAP. So basically just get your hair out of the way so you can get started and then start off with your favorite primer. Mine is the Autopilot Primer by Napoleon. And I'm also gonna use the concealer primer underneath my eyes as well because it gives that really lovely glow. So I'm, today I'm gonna have a nice glowy skin. And now I'm going to try this foundation by MAC. It's the Studio Waterweight Foundation. I actually really liked it, but it was a very soft finish. Obviously, that's what I was going for, and kind of like it's called Waterweight, so duh. Um, I buffed it into my skin, and then I added one extra layer, and it looks really pretty. Now I'm going to just use this Dior Skin Nude Concealer in number three. It's really hydrating and it feels really, really good. So basically I'm just gonna pop that underneath my eyes and I'm also gonna pop it on my eyelid as well. So just buff that away really softly so it's not too heavy on the eyelid, otherwise it will crease. And then of course I'm going to do my freckles on my nose, which as you may know, they bug me so much. So basically just gonna pop those around my nostrils and then I'm going to also go around my mouth and um, on any areas that I have any spots. Now I'm gonna use this New Dimension um, sculpt shape and sculpt kit. It's amazing, you guys. Give it a try. I love cream concealers and this one works for every skin tone. So I'm using my flat foundation brush. I'm wiping the product on my wrist so there's not too much. And then I'm going straight to my skin. So I'm putting it on my cheekbones and also around my cheeks. So I'm making like a little fake smile and going around my cheek my cheeks to kind of define them more. And then I'm also um, going in my temples and around my hairline and just adding a little bit extra in my cheekbone. And then I'll add a little bit on my jawline as well, just to kind of cut my jaw so it looks more defined. And then the tiniest, tiniest bit down my nose. And I mean the tiniest bit. I hate when a nose contour is obvious. So um, really, really small amount of that. And then I'm going to use the highlighting side. I'll use the other side of the brush and I'm basically just pressing that and blending that over any areas that are high. So my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my upper lip and my chin. This color is really soft, it's not over the top. And then I'm to make it over the top, <laughs> I'm gonna use this Highlights Illuminating Lotion by number seven and a stippling brush. And I'm basically just going to lightly, um, lightly, lightly brush this over high points of my face. Really, really lightly, by the way. So I'm not moving anything around. And then I'm going to use this Loose Powder by MAC and I'm also going to pop that underneath my eyes um, just to set any of that concealer. And also on my nose and around my nostrils, around my mouth, my eyelids, and a little bit on my forehead. So basically my T-zone and my eyelids. I'm gonna use this blush by MAC again, <laughs> um, fail. I'm going to, this blush is the extra dimension blush, so that's kind of why it cracked, I think, because it's like really creamy. Um, and it, the color is in Bearness, it's really pretty. So I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheeks and then swiftly brushing the remaining product over my nose, forehead, and chin. Now I'm gonna use this Natio Brow Kit and I'm gonna take the lightest brown color and just fill in any areas, any sparse areas of my brow. Um, and just make them look a little bit more full and defined. And I totally forgot to do my other eyebrow, so wait till the end because it'll get filled in, but I just totally forgot about it. I'm just gonna use a concealer brush just to define the edge as well. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take this palette. This one here is Fiery Saffron. It's a really beautiful neutral palette. I'm going to take the nude color and pop that all over my eyes just to set my powder, like make everything look really pretty to set it but you know. Now I'm going to take this medium toned brown and place this over my mobile lid and um, then I'm going to take this color here is called mystery and I'm going, I can't speak, I'm going to use this color in my um, around my like, lash line and a little bit high in my outer V but mainly around the lash line to add extra dimension and shadow. I don't want to go too far where it's like obvious um, depth now I'm going to use this eyeshadow, it's called Tempting, um, and I'm going to use my finger for this because it is so um, like flaky with the glitter, so my finger gives it a lot more pigment. So on my eyelid as well as underneath. 
and then I'm going to take the satin taupe and pop that straight on top of my outer V and um, darken up any area around the outer side and just keep it nice and glowy yeah and then of course I have to use some eyeliner this is the double wear stay in place eye pencil in onyx so the blackest of black it truly stays on honestly you pop it on your waterline and you'll be happy all day so put that in your waterline I'm gonna put it in my tight line as well and then I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and blend it underneath my eyes um, so it looks nice and smoky and then I'll do the same on the top lash line so apply the pencil and then blend it out with the definer brush and now I'm going to use this midnight trist I think that's how you pronounce it it's um, one of the new um, eyeshadows by MAC it's really pretty um, I'm gonna pop it in my outer corner and it's like a plummy kind of deep color I'm just going to place it really close to my lash line and in my outer corner just to add that extra depth and then just adding a little bit more of that onyx pencil around my lashes to create even extra depth and you can see here my eyes look a lot more brown they kind of have a pop okay now I realized my other eyebrows not done so I quickly do that <laughs> and then I'm going to take this um, brow comb and just brush my brows through so the color is more soft and I'm gonna take this pro long wear waterproof brow set and bold brunette and I'm just gonna set my brows so brushing them upward so that my brows stay upward for the rest of the day and then again just defining it with some con with a concealer brush now my favorite mascara at the moment is the sumptuous knockout this is a mascara Kendall brought up with Estee Lauder so I had to use it obviously um, so basically brushing that through I do about three layers and I also do my bottom lashes now the tip of this I'm eyelashes I'm not sure what I'm saying but the tip that I've got today is pushing your eyelashes down if you've got really long eyelashes because that will make your eyes look a little bit more sexy rather than big and dull like they're gonna look a little bit sexy and more closed which I don't know it's more like Marilyn Monroe kind of esque if you know what I mean and then I'm gonna take this bubblegum lip scrub and I'm gonna buff that into my lips I love it you can eat it it's amazing Carl got this for me well done Carl pat on the back yum <laughs> and now I'm gonna put um, some lipstick on this one's in Shanghai spice it's a cream sheen so it's probably less wear like long wearing than other lipsticks so I would advise if you do have this lipstick keep it with you because you probably need to top it up throughout the day or night but the color of it and the way that the shine looks and the naturalness of it so gorgeous I just thought it was perfect and then now it's time for your hair so basically take your clips out by the way my hair is about three days old here I'd probably recommend two um, I'm gonna use this Tony and Guy Glamour um, dry shampoo and this is the volumizing one so I'm basically popping it into my roots and really I'm gonna massage that into my roots like hard out so get it right in there and then I also put it in my mid like my mid lengths but I didn't show you that so put it in your mid lengths as well now I'm going to take this instant volume powder and I'm going to pop it into my hairline. Oh, too much. Way too much. Okay, I'm going to pop that into my um, the roots of my hair on the top of my head just to add some texture. This stuff is crazy. You start rubbing it and it turns sticky. I don't know how to explain it, but it's you have to try it. I can't really explain it any other way, but pop that into your hair as well to add extra volume and texture to your hair. So you can curl your hair if you want to. I kept my hair quite natural for this because I wanted it to be like that no care kind of look. So yeah, that's the hair done. I'm gonna chuck on some necklaces that I got from LaVisa. These chokers are so cheap from there. Honestly, you'll probably still find them there if you go there. But that is the complete look. You can see that my eyelashes look really bold and around my eyelashes, but it's that's it. Like I don't bring too much of the color everywhere else so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video all the products are listed down below obviously thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope to see you in my next video and please subscribe if you haven't already bye